I think Cursor has just replaced Bubble. Now, I know that's a big call, but I've been using Bubble for the last 12 months to build an app. I've built an app called transformo.io, uh, totally built in uh, Bubble, and I learned it from scratch, and I had some developers work with me. And to be honest, I would never, ever have produced this app if I didn't have Bubble. But the reality is, I think Cursor has just replaced it. I think Bubble has become pretty much irrelevant. And now it's not going to happen instantly, but I think it will happen over time. And let me tell you why. I will never, ever build another app in Bubble again after this weekend that just went by. Because this weekend, I actually created my first app in Cursor using code. I wrote real code. And now I didn't write it. Cursor wrote the code for me. And in 10 hours, I was able to learn how to use Cursor to write code and actually build about... 40% of my app and reproduce it in real code uh, in cursor. And it's it's working. I've got the whole thing working. I'm absolutely blown away. You know, there were some features that Bubble developers couldn't get working. There were some integrations they couldn't get working in Bubble. It took them two months to do and they never completed it. It It's very disappointing for me. Um, I'm still a bit frustrated with that whole process, but I was able to, not being able to code in Next.js, I was able to build an app in Next.js and complete those integrations in real code with no, you know, nothing holding me back. I think that is absolutely phenomenal. Now, where does that leave Bubble? Well, it leaves Bubble in a really bad position because Bubble is not easy to use. Bubble takes months to learn and then you know, six months to 12 months to be good at it. And there's a lot of bubble developers out there saying that it takes 18 months to get really good at it. So that learning curve is quite steep. But if I can create an app in Next.js in 10 hours, that's 40% of what I've built in bubble over, you know, that initial build was a six week build full time with another developer and I was getting involved as well. But I did 40% of that in 10 hours learning how to use cursor and learning how to install all the packages and all of that, I think Bubble is in a lot of trouble. And so the reasons why is because Bubble is a great platform and look, I owe a lot to it, but it's got some real challenges and that is it's not really coding. Uh, It's kind of what you see is what you get drag and drop. You know, all the workflows you create, they're all, it's configuring, you know, um, it's like, it's like make, Com. It's like Zapier. You're configuring things together. And at the end of the day, you do all this work and it doesn't actually produce code. It's a proprietary software that's installed on their system and you can't take it anywhere. You can't move it off the platform. So whatever you build is stuck to them. Now, their hosting is expensive. It really is. And uh, it's, it's inflexible. And so that's a real negative for Bubble. And the more I've been using it, the more I've been seeing that, you know, Bubble... It's just got a lot of issues that I don't like. Another one is, um, you know, it's it's difficult to hire developers in Bubble. Let me tell you why. Because everyone who learns Bubble, not everyone, but most people that I've come across that I've tried to hire who have learned Bubble are not developers, right? They are front-end you know, designers, they're business people, they're project managers who've learned it, and they don't understand coding. And so when they build your app, there's a lot of problems with the app. And I've had developers come onto my app who are real developers. They've developed for many, many years, five, 10 years, and they've learned Bubble. And when they look at the app, they say to me, Marlon, this is terrible. The way it's architected is absolutely terrible. And so it's hard to figure out these people. Everyone I interview, they always tell me, yeah, I'm a developer, but they're not. They just don't, you know, it's hard to figure that out. It took me you know, months to figure out that people who say, yeah, I'm a developer, that they're actually not a developer. That, that whole issue was a challenge that I never knew even existed. And then I figured it out. And now I look for people who are developers, but still it's hard. And so hiring talent for Bubble is difficult. And it's been very frustrating for me. Um, and so that's why I'd rather just hire a developer, right? Who knows how to build architecture properly. But the reality is with Cursor, it actually architects the app for you. It actually does a lot of that best practice for you. Now, I know it's not perfect. 
I know it's not going to be as good as a developer. But at the end of the day, if you want to build a piece of software and get users using it, and then at some point get a real developer in to actually make it better, you can do that with Cursor. And I just did it this weekend. And so I'm really excited for Cursor. I'm really sad for Bubble because I think Bubble has been an amazing platform that has helped so many business people create apps and open the world of no code up. But I think it's going to be a, um, you know, it's going to be left on the side of the road. And uh, I hope it doesn't. I hope it reinvents itself. But I've got to say, it's slow. Bubble has been very slow over the last year at producing things. And some of these new AI companies coming out are producing much, much quicker. They have a different um, mentality than, than Bubble does. I know Bubble is a big platform. So um, that's my point of view. I'm going to create a whole bunch of videos around Cursor and going into detail. The next one I'm going to create is a real detailed explanation of, of, of what the problems with Cursor, um, Cursor is for a business user and the problems with Bubble and why you would choose one over the other. But for me, I am going to be using Cursor from now on and I've got a few apps that I'm actually building for my agency at the moment that I use and consume. And I, if I, was to, I know that if I was to build it in Bubble, it would take me months to build and it'd be very frustrating. And building it in Cursor will literally take me hours or days to build the same thing and I can use it and it's much more scalable. I think that is absolutely phenomenal. So uh, uh, have some fun. If you're a Bubble developer, try out Cursor. The learning curve is steeper probably, but you can get a lot more done uh, very, very quickly if you know a little bit about um, the foundations of coding. And, and in the next video, I'm going to talk about that and why I was able to build an app pretty quickly uh, where some other people may not be. And I'm not a coder, right? But I do understand the concepts of development. All right. Have a great day. Speak to you soon. Bye.